up and joining us now to discuss the stocks that treated investors the best and the worst during the 2010s is Caleb Silver. He's the editor in chief at Investopedia. Uh, all right, best performer of the decade. It's a name we all know and love. It's Netflix. There it is. But you had to have a strong stomach to, to invest in Netflix, right? The stock has, has had a 20% fall, 18 times or more, since it went public a couple, almost two decades ago. Yeah, they always say, oh, this is it. They're dead. That's right. It. Right. It and fell, then Reed brings them back. It fell 70% in its first year. Mm -hmm. uh, but Netflix has been amazing. And Netflix has done a lot of it without being a profitable company, using the, you know, the equity that it's taken in from investors and a ton of debt to do whatever it wants, buy entire libraries of content, produce millions and millions of dollars worth yep. of content. And if it needs to uh, needs a little bit more money, just raises prices a dollar. And guess right, what? And now People it can. It. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so looking at that top 10 list, because um, we'll get to the losers in a second, but are there any specific themes to you that stand out of the obvious, oh, here's what the 2010s were all about? Because uh, I think there are some, but it's not exactly what the losers kind of say about things, right? Right. So at the bottom of the list, Take-Two Interactive, the gaming sector obviously has been big, and that's been big for the last decade and continues to grow. But what we see across the middle here are a lot of very interesting companies that are the picks and shovels or picks and axes yep. of different markets, mm. Mar market access holdings. I didn't even know what market access holdings was. What is it? This is a fixed income trading platform. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And a, a lot of big institutional investors use it. Again, it's the back end. Nobody sees it. Yep. Stock's been unbelievable. Transdime Group. Yep. Never heard of them either. They make aerospace TBG. parts. Right, they make aerospace parts, and, and I never heard of that. Broadcom, we know, has been around a long time. Right. It moved into enterprise, mm -hmm. and that's where the money is. And John Legere? John Legere. Come on, come man. On. Pretty in pink, man. Yeah, right. With He's, the hair and the, oh, the stock. Yeah. I mean, come on. Stock's been the stock's been great. I the stock's been that. great in the past year that. as they yeah. looked at a merger, but they went the, with the discount model. They were the number three or four in terms of the wireless uh, players. Looks like they'll be uh, partnering up with Sprint right now. Spent a decade trying to get that deal done. All right, can I ask you like the impossible question? I'm just gonna like hit him with this. Hit it. What is the best stock of the past two decades? Come on, you don't know that. It's Monster Beverage. There you go. Right? go figure. Go figure. Monster beverage. I it's, know. Which has been an that. absolute monster. It's yeah. it's I been one of the strongest that. performing stocks. Of the, definitely the strongest performing of the past two decades. That's it remains cool. strong. And besides its its uh, its product that you drink yeah. and its sponsorship, you know, with the X Games, I really don't know what else it's done. But investors have loved that stock and bid it up very high so, in the past. So two that decades. gets to a list you guys have, which is what the best stocks of the 2000s than did in the 2010s. So Andy, mm. Monster Beverage was the best stock of the 2000s. What I found interesting here right. among these names is with the exception of, of, I think, three of the best 10 performers from the 2000s, they, they usually they're mostly outperform the S&P in the next decade. Right. So it's not yeah. like everyone just gave up the goose. Oh, right. that's but, good. But they have not been the, the strongest stocks been, of the past, that's right, that's of right. the past decade. Been okay. Uh, Monster, of course, we've talked about that. But we look at stocks like BlackRock. BlackRock is right. an extremely strong uh, institution. You just uh, think about like something like that, though, Caleb. Right? They had zero dollars at the beginning, and now they have six trillion. Yeah. How well, you that'll doing? do it. Six trillion will help. Right? Or like Monster, like they went from zero to being like a very serious competitor to Coca-Cola. Yeah. Right? I mean, that'll do well, it. Coke owns, what, right. 10, 15 percent? And it's really the syrup in the bottle, and the rest is, yeah. is right. history, as we say. What but gonna... think about CarMax for a yeah. second. Selling used cars. Great model when it came out yeah. in the early part of the 2000s. Not such a strong stock these days, but it, it is a marketplace. Yep. And we see a lot of parallels with other marketplaces. Tractor supply, right? Yep. A marketplace for obviously running that type of equipment. We see it in United Rentals in the top 10 of the past 10 decades. United Rentals, one of the strongest mm. stocks. You don't need to own these uh, the, the equipment, but if you can rent it from a United, the margins yeah. are fantastic. Oh, to go back in time. I, I think United was the one you know, from this past decade that really stands out as like, how could you play millennials moving away from home? Right. You know? right. It's the moving part of things, yeah. but it's also all those cherry pickers, all those yeah. cranes, and all those building the multifamily. All that equipment you don't yeah. want to buy if you're That's a contractor, right. you rent from right. them, and they've been the marketplace, and marketplaces have won yeah. over the past decade. All right, let's talk uh, quickly about the losers, Maybe and I think a pretty losers. obvious story emerges yeah, here. Everyone it. knows what happened in the 2010s, and you see it on this chart here. Right. I think nine out of the ten of these are, are energy companies Boy, or energy yes. related. Arconic was is the old Alcoa, as yes. we know it. Right. Um, so that's metals, and of course Freeport McMor uh, McRoan, McMoran, excuse me, uh, mining out in the Arizona and around the world. Mm -hmm. But the rest of these are energy companies, yeah. and we have seen the great fall of energy stocks. Energy's fallen out of the S and P super sectors as one of the strongest places. So this is not oh, a surprise. So Caleb, I mean, when I saw that, it sort of 
relates to that last chart, which is, are they going to do as badly next decade, or is this an incredible buying opportunity for energy? I, I think that we have seen the peak in that type of energy, that fossil fuel economy, Time. that powered the first, certainly the first cent, the last century. Yeah. Uh, but I don't think we're there anymore with that. When you look at the leaders, there's your technology companies, their marketplaces, yeah. their companies that make great margins but don't have to drill for oil and refine it and then sell it on the on the. Yeah, I just think I mean actually, you know, you've heard me do this before, but the reason the why. There's two things. I mean, one, people don't want to use it because of um, carbon. And then two, the supply just keeps expanding, right. contrary to peak, because of technology. Right. So those are two huge. I mean, the, the supply's bad because it keeps increasing. The demand's bad because no one wants to burn it anymore. Mm -hmm. Right? Wow. And then, That's uh, not a good story. Quickly, because I know Andy's going to get worked up about this. Number one top search term of 2019. Oh, yeah. Uh, negative interest rates. Yeah, yeah. Of course. <laughs> God, the unsung hero Dude. of the global rally there's across most of the There's yeah. one thing that gets Andy fired wow. up. Wow. NERP. Yeah, NERP. I hope. So people are concerned about it. That's good. I'm glad. They want to learn more about it, but it has been the, the unsung hero of the rally. Oh, of the Did you also see what else was on that top 10 list? It's actually understated what you just said, because negative oh. yields is on there as negative well. Negative bond yields is on negative there as well. Negative bond yields. So yield curve was on that list. Yeah, so yeah. if you had like added that up, that's all people here. talked about. That's all I talked about. That was Thanksgiving. That's all I searched Thanksgiving about. conversation, that's going to yeah. be the Christmas Your data higher. science scientists were right in my brain, number, Caleb. How about number eight, Karl Marx. Who knew Who the market goes up 30% like to record highs like and people want to know about Karl Marx. Fear, fear the beard. That's Bernie Sanders like just Googling. That's right. Apple, what's my password? Andy? Okay. Jay-Z made that list, too. That's right. Uh, that. All right, Caleb Silver is the editor-in-chief at Investopedia. Thanks so much for stopping by. Have a great holiday. Hey, investors. Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day, wherever you are.